This is this week's rating. But we'd really like to help youngsters enjoy our show, so we've put together this cleaned up kitty version of tonight's episode. Enjoy. Hello, Lori. I brought this apple for you. Well, thank you, Norm. It looks delicious. Don't eat it too fast, or you'll get a tummy ache. That sucked. Well, now you know why we put the dirty stuff in. Thank you, and enjoy the show. Everybody's gone to lunch. Come on, let's go have sex in the uh, counseling room. Oh, come on, Norm. I don't know. In the office? Yeah, absolutely in the office. You know, half the fun is the fear of getting caught, you know? That way, if the sex is no good, at least we got that fear of getting caught. <laughs> you want a little something in public, huh? Exactly, precise. Hmm. Okay, I could kiss that bruise on your forehead. What bruise? That one. Ouch. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You know something else I just remember there? I was eating some Count Chocolate this morning. I think I'm here to bruise my tongue. <laughs> Ew! Mom and Dad are doing it again. <laughs> okay, everybody, this is it. Councilman Krantz is on his way up. Lori, we have oh. a huge problem. Yes, I know we do. Can someone open a window, please? It smells like wet old people and spoiled milk. <laughs> Sir, are you lactating again? <laughs> I'm not in the mood. Listen, Laurie, your councilman's just arrived, and he's downstairs yeah. now. He's clogging up the lobby with his mongol horde of cameras. You, you never said there were going to be cameras. Laurie, I hate cameras. I can't believe that, sir. With an ass like that, you must have... <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to punch you so hard. <laughs> sir, I told you they were going to be shooting some footage no. for a campaign commercial. It's the only way I could get him up here, you know, so I could pitch him my job skills program. No, I, look, I, I, I'm helping people. It's all well and good, but I told you I don't want any undue attention paid to my office. That's the way people get fired. Well, you're quite an inspiration, sir. Normally, one would have to travel back to Vichy, France, to find a man of your integrity. <laughs> you know, you're lucky you're not a man, Laurie Freeman. I mean, in general, lucky that you're not a man, uh, because we're expected to be so brave. <laughs> So these are the trenches where the good fight is fought. Councilman, hello. My name is Laurie Freeman. I can't tell you what an honor it is to have you here. Thank you, Laurie. You know, it's people like you who make this city work. Well. Thank you, Laurie. You know, it's people like you who make this city hum. Let's go with number two. Number one sounded rehearsed. Hello, how are and, you? But Councilman, Councilman Krantz, I've spoken to your office quite a few times about my uh, computer training program for welfare mothers. Absolutely. Welfare mothers are part of the team that will build the bridge into the 21st century. And I hope we can build the rest of that bridge with, with other kinds of, of poor people. Uh, well, Councilman, I really could use an answer on my proposal. Well, um, Laurie, I've, I've read your proposal carefully, and, uh, and I definitely don't think there's any way in hell we can do that. Why? Why not? Thank you. You're wonderful, Laurie. Oh, blah, 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 blah. What is he doing? Oh, it doesn't matter what he says. This is just footage to play beneath uh, Tony Curtis voiceover. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so it won't matter then if I call him a horse's ass? <laughs> not at all, not at all. Oh, well, what if I, uh, what if I were to do this? <laughs> sir, we have got to get a move on. We've got tap dancing seniors on the 14th floor. Cute as hell, sir. Well, let's get up there before God takes them. <laughs> believe he's running unopposed. Oh, somebody really ought to get in there and kick his butt. Well, why don't you do it? Me? Oh, what? What? You guys think that I'm city council material? Oh, absolutely. Plus, it'll take your mind off the fact that you can't find a man. <laughs> that didn't come out right. You could do it, Laura. You know, you're a union rep. You know the ins and outs. Yeah, I bet you'd win. Well, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about politics, but I maybe if I had somebody really smart running my campaign, like Danny. Danny? Danny's a big, dumb loser. <laughs> Hang on, man. You're a great guy. I would love to be your campaign manager, oh. Laurie. Thank you. Uh, uh, and Norm, well, you could be my campaign strategist. 
Oh, yeah, 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 strategy. Right. Lori, I've got a little bit of inside dirt that might come in handy. I recognize Councilman Krantz from the massage parlor. Krantz used to be a prostitute. This is huge. <laughs> I want this campaign run purely on the issues, all right? No dirty tricks. All right, all right. Hey, I got a campaign slogan for you. Huh? Yeah, get this. Lori Freeman, king of beers. <laughs> huh? No, no, you're right. It's too, uh, too blue collar. How about this? Lori Freeman, the taste that made Milwaukee famous. <laughs> Perfect, right? Yeah, I'll write it down. Too bad that you're not as smart as you thought you were. Sandwich board. A wiener dog can help us campaign. Oh, Taylor. Oh. 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 Freeman is of a certain age and has never been married. Not unlike Ellen DeGeneres and Martina Navratilova. <laughs> oh, my God! He just called me a lesbian! Ellen DeGeneres is a lesbian? How dare he! Lesbians are a vital part of this community, damn it! I told that guy not to cut my hair so short. <laughs> Hey, uh, don't worry about it, Lori. Uh, tomorrow night at that debate, you're gonna kick that guy's butt. Right, right, Norm, thanks. Yeah, absolutely. The campaign's in flames. Come on. <laughs> Councilman Krantz is gonna, he's gonna tear her apart tomorrow. She doesn't even know it, the poor sap. You know, this is what we gotta do. He likes hookers, right? So this is what we do. We pay a hooker, we set him up. All right, that way we catch him with his pants down, you know? <laughs> and his underpants, you know what I mean? Down around his ankles, you know what I'm talking about? You have any idea what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? It sounds good, but listen, if Lori finds out, she'll kill us both. So from now on, we should discuss everything in code and use code names. Okay, great. You be a big fat guy. <laughs> great, and you be gay sweatsuit. <laughs> Hi, you guys. What are you doing? Oh, uh, nothing. We're, we're just uh, working on a campaign jingle. <laughs> you, oh, really? Oh, can I hear it? Uh... Well, uh, Artie wrote the words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, Norm sings it way better. Well, guy, why don't you both sing it? All right. Uh, <coughs> uh, when you go vote, vote for uh, you know who, <laughs> Lori Pretty good. I just want to start by saying that uh, we have nothing but the highest respect for your profession. As a matter of fact, I have Pretty Woman on DVD. <laughs> Actually, that's the film that inspired me to quit law school and jump into this fairy tale life. <laughs> Look, I ain't got all day. I've got three clients this afternoon, and I got to pick up my kids from Hebrew school by five. <laughs> so, what's all this about Councilman Kranz? Yeah, yeah, we want you to have sex with him and videotape it. That way we can destroy him politically. And, uh, I'm prepared to up my original offer of $100 to, uh, $105. As a matter of fact, sweetheart, make it 106 I got a better idea. You see this? I got the whole conversation on tape. Hey, great idea, because I was going to take notes, but I forgot to bring a pen. And yet she's blackmailing us. See, when I told Councilman Kranz that she wanted to set him up, he offered me 10,000 bucks to make this tape. But you can buy it for 11. Oh, really? And uh, what's to prevent me from taking that tape from you right now? Joe. What I meant to say is, uh, what's to prevent Artie from taking that tape from you right now? Come on, what's it going to be, guys? 11 grand or this tape goes to the press? 
Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you $50 a week, every week, for a period of uh, two weeks. <laughs> Goodbye, fellas. Oh, my God, this is horrible. You know what we just did? We wrecked Lori's campaign. Man, she's going to kill me. You know, whatever happened to the neighborhood hooker we all grew up with? You know, the one you could trust? The one that knew your father's name when shopping with your mom taught you to read? Damn it, this world's going to hell in a handbasket! <laughs> Norm, Norm, listen. I got every paper between here and Lori's subway stop. There's no way she'll ever see that article about us in the hooker. Idiot, I told you, throw him in the garbage. What do you bring him here for? Page 34, there's a Blimpy's coupon. <laughs> Blimpy's coupon. Here, take these and get out of here before Lori shows up. No, no, no. No need to run. I already got a copy of the paper. Hey, are you going to use your Blimpy's coupon? <laughs> no, you can have it. Thanks. <laughs> Damn it, Norm. I trusted you, you screwed my campaign, you made me look bad, you did exactly what I told you not to do. Yeah, well, Krantz is a bad guy. But that doesn't matter. See, even if he's a horrible guy, it's not right to destroy a man's life. Uh, Laurie, you know, you're just upset because it didn't work, you know? Let's pretend it had all worked out. Then you'd be ahead in the polls, you'd be happy. No, I wouldn't be. Well, then let's pretend something else. Let's pretend that uh, I gave you a kidney and saved your life. What? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Now, let's revisit that whole Krantz thing. But keep in mind, I saved your life with that kidney. Norm, the man has a wife and children, and what you did is just totally immoral. You know, there's a lot of people that are way more moral than you right. and would disagree with you. Good. Show me one. Yeah, I will. I'm going to find one. Looks like you could use a little support right about now, eh, Norm? Well, you're not going to get it from me. <laughs> you're... You're morally corrupt, Norm, and you're going to go straight to hell. And your soul, your soul is going to bubble and rot there while the devil poke, poke, pokes at you with his pitchfork of pain. Hey, yeah. cut it out. Why, you're going to cry now, are you, you big baby? Are you, are you, are you going to cry? No, sir, are you crying? No. <laughs> Father? Enter my son. <laughs> you have to go in the other side. What? Why? So you don't know who I am. A little late for that, isn't it? I'm staring right at your face. Other side. <laughs> Let me start, uh, uh, Father, by confessing that I think I just groped a priest. <laughs> How long has it been since your last confession, my son? Oh, well, actually, uh, this is my first time there, Father. Here's the deal. Uh, <laughs> you see, what I did is I, uh, I, I tried to frame this uh, dude that's a bad politician so that my friend, who's good, could get elected. And you want to know uh, what kind of sin this is? Hmm? No, no. I just want you to tell me that it's okay. I'm sorry, I can't do that. You see, the ends never justify the means. Hey, now come on there, Father. Sometimes the ends justify the means, you know? I mean, what about if you rob a bank at gunpoint, but then you give half the money to charity? Why is that right? That is not right. That's horribly wrong. Ah, you're all over the map there, Padre. <laughs> what about... You want to sleep with a woman, so you tell her you're an astronaut. That's wrong. <laughs> Come on, now. Are you telling me that you've never told a woman you're no, an no, astronaut no, to no, get no, to... No, 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 no. I, sir, I think you're morally corrupt. I have a feeling that you've never had any religious upbringing at all. Oh, well, that's where you're wrong, Father. When my father was very strict, he would take me to church every week. But it was a lot different than this. Really? Yeah. Yeah, the coolest part of it was uh, when one of the roosters would kill another one of the roosters. <laughs> That was not a church, young man. That was a cockfight. All right, easy does it, Padre. Hey, you don't see me taking cheap shots at your faith. Hey, Laurie, how you holding up? 
Well, I, my poll numbers have stopped dropping since I fired Norm and Artie, but now I've really got to concentrate on that debate. You want to help me practice? I'll take a position and just argue against me. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Uh, I firmly believe that guns must be kept away from our kids and out of our schools. I disagree. I think there should be guns in every classroom and in the hands of every student. Because I believe in death. <laughs> okay. Uh, I also feel that we should distribute condoms in our schools. Well, that's a stupid idea. If little girls don't get pregnant, how are they ever going to learn responsibility? <laughs> I believe that we should have free inoculations for all children and seniors. I firmly believe that her side tried to frame me with a hooker. What? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm being cranch. Plus, she might be a lesbian. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, that's enough. Okay. <laughs> okay, more bad news. Just heard a rumor that Kranz dug up some new dirt about your past, okay? So what we have to do is, is figure out what it is so you can admit it before he can use it. I, oh, oh, my God. What, what, oh, what, what, Danny, what, what, what? My, oh, There was a short time back in 1979 when I was a communist. <laughs> Communist in 1979? You might as well have been a Tory or a Whig. I was in college and there was this guy that was a communist and he had a really cute butt. And, and he had a dune buggy. <laughs> huh? Okay, 30 seconds, everybody. <gasps> Lori. Oh, hi, what are you doing here? Listen, I was wrong. I went to all these holy men, I tried to get them to agree with me, you know, about what I did, but none of them would. I, I, I thought I had this one uh, Buddhist monk on my side. It turned out he was just a, a bald Asian guy in a bathrobe. You know? Oh, God. we have time to deal with this right now, Norm. And anyway, I, I, I shouldn't even be seen with you, so. Welcome. Tonight, a debate between the candidates for city council, Lori Freeman, and the incumbent, Warren Krantz. Ms. Freeman will make her opening statement first. Uh, I would like to begin by saying that in regards to the recent scandal, I take full responsibility. However, I had no prior knowledge of the actions taken by my former campaign strategist and his fat half-brother. <laughs> oh, and also, I was a communist for a little part of a summer. Councilman Prance. Uh, well, Ms. Freeman, I'm glad you were only an enemy of this country for part of one summer. But there are other things I've learned about you that bother me more. For example, drug trafficking. That is completely untrue. Is it, Ms. Freeman? Then how do you explain this? A photo of you, Lori Freeman, <laughs> on an Oregon marijuana farm riding topless on a tractor. Bosoms exposed frolicking in the fields of marijuana. No, now that is not marijuana. That was hemp. See, we were making rope and uh, we never smoked it. We would just burn whatever was left in a big bonfire every Friday night and dance around in our underwear until we all got hungry and spend the rest of the night at Bob's Big Boy. It's clear you have no place in this election. Ms. Freeman, maybe you should ride your nudie pot farm tractor back to Russia and peddle your commie wares there. I... Uh... uh go New York Knicks. Well, Miss Freeman's surprisingly brief rebuttal allows us a little extra time for a break, so we'll be back right after this. Horrible man. <laughs> Lori, listen, if you want me to go after my will, you just tell me. I don't know what to do. Norm, he's just a bad man. But see, then I'm a hypocrite if I let you attack him. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't have to decide, you know. L let's let God decide. Uh, bow your head in prayer there, Lori. Uh, dear God, uh, listen, uh, there's this bad man that uh, I want to destroy. <laughs> but, uh,. Uh, if you want me to resist the temptation and stay on the path of righteousness, then uh, just give me a sign, any sign. <laughs> no, sir. Come on. 
next week on Norm. So Lori's 20 points behind in the polls. Now what we got to do is get a videotape of Councilman Krantz kicking this adorable little doggy here. Oh, that's it? You just cut his mic soft? Just watch, watch. Can you hear me? <laughs> Okay, bye. Love you. See ya. Yeah. Seems like uh, things are moving along, huh? What are you talking about? Well, you just told Shelly you love her. What? I did? <laughs> She's gonna want a commitment, so she'll say something like, I'm tired of the city. It's dirty. I need a change. I realized I'm getting tired of the city. <laughs> and you'll say, you don't need a change. Stay. And she'll say, there's nothing here for me. Then you'll go, well, what about me? It's not that I'm not happy. It's just that sometimes I look around me and I wonder, What's here for me? 